All right, guys. So hello, I am Brad Baldwin. I'm with Eisenhower Coaching and Consulting. And welcome to the webinar today on using video in database marketing. Before we get started, I like to make sure everybody can hear us. So if you could just type in that chat box. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I know Frank can hear me. Good to go. All right. Awesome. Love it. So who are we? We're, uh, again, we're Eisenhower Coaching and Consulting. My name is Brad Baldwin. I'm the program director and head coach over here at Eisenhower Coaching and Consulting. Uh, we're located in the Central Coast, California. We coach about 50% of the top 500 in the real trends rankings. That number's probably gonna go up this year. A lot of our new clients that came in are not registered for the real trends. We're getting them registered this year. So we coach a lot of the top teams, uh, brokerages and solo agents all across the country. Um, real quick, our contact information, 805-980-7027. 805-980-7027. Please call us, bug us, answer. We'll answer any questions you might have. Uh, again, our website is therealestatetrainer.com. And I want you guys to do something a little bit different on this webinar today that we've done in the past. In the comments below on YouTube, um, or maybe even after the blog after this, you can get registered for a 30 minute free coaching call with me. Uh, to discuss how being partnered with Eisenhower Coaching Consulting can drastically improve your business and your lifestyle. And man, do yourself a favor, sign up for one of those. It's not gonna be a sales pitch. It's gonna be helping you and your business. And we wanna do that 30 minutes. You get in my schedule and we're all good to go. All right, guys, so no, without further ado, let's jump into the webinar. So the main topic of the webinar today is how to build your database with video. This is an exciting topic. A lot of people uh, talk to, uh, or is a hot topic in all the Facebook groups on lab code agents and all this, is how to use video. And today joining us is the man, Frank. Klesitz. Klesitz, Frank Klesitz. I just asked him how to pronounce it. Yeah. I, sorry, bud. Frank Klesitz with Viral Marketing. He is the man when it comes to video marketing. So without further ado, I'm gonna let Frank introduce himself and uh, take it away, Frank. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate having me, guys. So uh, I'll teach you guys something really useful today if you stick around on how to basically export, reorganize your existing list, get some messages out to it, and uh, hopefully get some people to call you to list their house, That's, which is what we all want. All right. So uh, real quick, I own a firm called Viral Marketing. I've been doing it for 10 years out of my own need. As I'm originally going to go, it'd be a real estate agent. I have about 60 employees and hundreds of clients, and we help you use video to get listings. And the focus of that is using video in a way to stay in touch with your current list, your past clients, your centers of influence, uh, warm leads that you have to really extract the most value out of that first. Uh, and then certainly we can use it to go out to the cold audiences of homeowners in the whole city to attract people into your world. So that's a bit about me. So awesome, man. Thanks, Frank, for that. And so guys, we're gonna be learning a lot. Um, I hate those webinars where a guy is sitting here, talk, 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 talk. This is gonna be very interactive between me and Frank. You got questions, type them in the chat box. We'll make sure we answer them. Uh, we'll, we'll do the best we can during the webinar, but after the webinar, we are going to have a little bit of questions and answers and love to answer any questions you might have. And again, if you uh, we run out of time, schedule that 30 minute free coaching call or give us a call and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. So what we're gonna get accomplished today on this webinar is best practices for organizing your database and uh, cleaning up those old emails and that list. Uh, how to bring dull topics like market reports and make them seem a little bit more sexier to your SOI than just a guy just reporting stats. Um, how to get phone numbers for all your contacts. You know, there's a lot of contacts that you have that you don't have phone numbers for. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Why video is more engaging. Um, and a video marketing plan to get you started off in the right direction. And then how to hire someone uh, to do this quickly and easily for you. And that's kind of where Frank is gonna come in. Um, so Frank, without further ado, I wanna ask you a quick question. What do you see the most common challenge agents face when a new client does come to you? Yeah, it's definitely getting all of your existing lists in one place ready to mail or email or communicate with. You know, you have Chances are you've uh, skipped around to various CRMs over the years, changing from that CRM to that CRM to that CRM. You uh, probably have contacts in your uh, cell phone, in your address book, and they may or may not be syncing to your email account. Look, you're gonna have all the CRMs you have contacts and you're gonna have your cell phone address book. You're gonna have your uh, 
you know, contacts in your email program of the one or two accounts that you have, you know, arguably you may want to go back to your broker and say, can I pull all my files for the past one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 years of people I've actually bought and sold homes with? You know, um, you need to round all those people up and get them in one spot. And honestly, another source of people is all your friends on Facebook. Uh, look, if I were to share my screen, I won't do it because it makes things complicated, but if I were to go to my Facebook account and click friends, I would be able to see like the faces of all my friends and Facebook's algorithm you know, puts the people that you're most connected to at the top. And if you were to scroll down all your Facebook friends, like, my God, I know a lot of people, but you don't have their contact information. And we'll probably go into this, but you want to hire someone to look that information up. But essentially the, the direct answer to your question, the biggest challenge is, okay, I can create this video. I can put all this work in this video. I can have this wonderful topic and it's all this great thing, but who the heck's going to see it? Well, before you spend money on advertising and put it out to the cold general public, Maybe if you have the right data, you can reach homeowners that might want to sell their home with advertising, which is still expensive and it's still a cold list. You want to get it out to your warm list, but you have to have the warm list together and deduplicated and scrubbed and cleaned and centralized. And that's the biggest challenge. And that's what you want to do first. Absolutely. You know, that's what we see over here at ICC. A, a lot of, I had a new client that came in today. Um, and I'd ask her about her database. Like how many people you have in your database? She goes, well, I've got about, you know, five or 600. I'm like, where are you keeping them? She goes, well, they're in my spiral notebook. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And so we've got a lot of work to do and it's not a big deal. Don't, if you, if your database is everywhere, do not feel embarrassed because we've all been there. I've been there. I'm probably Frank's been there. We've all been there. Once you get it organized, Guys, you know, if you go back to, there's a great book written by uh, Gary Keller. Uh, it's called The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. And in that book, he talks about the four laws of the database and that's uh, organizing it, systematically staying in touch with it, feeding it every day, and then servicing the leads that come from it. That first part's organizing it. And even though it is a chore, you would be surprised how many people are happy to hear from you. You start collecting their contact information. You send them some videos. You're going to start getting leads right off the bat because they're like, oh my gosh, I thought you were out of business. Nope, I'm in business. They just didn't know it. So organizing the database is, is, a, is a, a huge task. But yet if we break it down in chunks or hire somebody like Frank to do it for you, man, it makes it so much easier. Um, Good stuff. Good stuff. And we are, we, I want to make it very clear. We talk about database. So I'm talking about our SOI database, our, our past clients or spheres of influence. It's not, uh, you know, I have 20,000 people in my database. You don't know 20,000 people. Your SOI, your warm clients, your warm leads, your, your people, you know, when I say database, that's what I'm talking about. I just want to clarify that. So question, Frank, um, you get this list together. Okay. And what do you recommend how people reconnect with that database? You got these names, numbers, emails, what should they be doing? Yeah. So let's say that you've gone through the work of that. The, the answer that to that work is a whole webinar by itself. <laughs> yeah, I know. But let's say that you go. Yeah. Let's say you actually have a giant spreadsheet of the full contact information of all your Facebook friends, LinkedIn connections, CRM contacts, address book, you know, um, cell phone records, of all these people, it's literally everyone you ever communicate with and it's scrubbed and you've removed bad email addresses, which there's ways to do that to make sure that's clean and it's deliverable. You know, I, I recommend you start off with a simple reconnect email message. So you would take all those emails, load them into an email marketing program, correctly scrubbed and authenticated. Make sure you reduce spam complaints when you use something like this. That's for another webinar. But here's what the message would say. And I think I'm just gonna kind of articulate it off the top of my mind here. Uh, there's, you don't necessarily have to write this down word for word, but I just want you to get the, the feeling of the message. It should look like a, a personal email that goes out. So the subject line would read something like, uh, excited to reconnect again. And it would say, dear friends, colleagues, and clients, I'm writing you because we've done business together in the past. We're friends, uh, we're connected on social media or in one way or another, you're in my address book. And I want to let you know that I'm still selling real estate here in, uh, San Diego where I'm at. Um, the reason I write you is because, you know, what you hear in the national news isn't necessarily what's going on here locally. And I'm doing a better job in 2020 of stepping up and keeping you informed on just basically how to make really smart real estate state decisions when it comes to buying, selling, um, or even investing in rental property uh, here in San Diego. So going forward, if it's all right with you, I want to publish and I want to send a couple helpful educational videos to you 
to you every month that are really good and I'm gonna put a lot of effort into. And if you don't wanna receive them, no hard feelings, just scroll down to the bottom of this email and click unsubscribe because you're probably hearing me for the first time in a while, for which I apologize, <laughs> right? Uh, but with that, uh, if you're, by the way, kind of maybe thinking about selling your home this year, you can click here to go to my website where you can put your address in to find out what your home is worth. And I'll give you a decent idea of what it's worth based upon comparable home sales. Or if you're thinking of buying a home, you can go to my website and actually see all the homes on the MLS for sale, like with, you know, full pictures, like what us realtors have. You can click here and find that out. And if you are actually thinking about buying or selling a home now, just reply to this email, give me a call and I can help you out. Anyways, I look forward to staying in better touch. Again, unsubscribe, you don't want to hear from me, no hard feelings, but uh, let me know if I could be of service anyway, Frank. So that personal message like that, just written out plain text, boom, out to your list. And every time we do that, every time, listings. <laughs> like, I mean, think about it. You just round up everyone you know, everyone, and you send out something very authentic, very personal, very real, like that to your list, it starts conversations. It's so simple. It is, so simple. it really is. Not easy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't hear a lot about it because it's just, um, there's not, there's, there's no way, in my opinion, there's no way for a business to make money doing that one thing, you know, so you don't yeah. really hear that. But that's just, if you're a brand new agent, <laughs> or if you're watching this and likely you probably have a team and you're onboarding a new agent, that should be like the required step of every new agent at my brokerage, every new agent on my team, grab list, deduplicate format, put in one system, get reconnect message out. And now you have something to start with for marketing. It doesn't cost much. Yep, absolutely. Good stuff, good stuff. You know, we get people all the time, new clients come in um, and they're like, you know, I don't know anybody. I only know like 50 people. Um, I think when you start really thinking about it, I, if you've got one of these, I think there was a study that went on that said there's actually 2000 people in your cell phone alone. Okay. If you got their number, somebody's number, there's a pretty good chance that you know them. And if you've got a Facebook account, they might not know you, but you know them at some level. You want to get just above a level of spam. Okay. Then that person belongs in your database. They know you, they're not really connected with you. They're not real close, but they do know you. They need to be in your database. We can reconnect with them. And you would be surprised that first email comes up the people from high school and things like I'm an, I'm an old dude, man. I'm 40, like 42 or something. I got people in high school, like I haven't heard for 20 years. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's been a while, but yet that person's in my database now. And that happens you, more times than not. That person now becomes one of your SOI. So good stuff. Um, a little bit more before we jump into the video portion of this. Uh, uh, this is my take on it, that people like video. They like to see your face. They like to connect with you. It's an important part of our world. Video emails open up more. People are on YouTube more than they're on Google. People like video. So Frank, uh, what's your thoughts on video? Why is it so much more important to use video versus a traditional email? Yeah. Well, unless you have the amazing skill of being able to communicate your personality through the written word, which is very hard, but it can be done. Really, you know, people just want to know who they're doing business with and who is this person. And they want to see you and, I don't know, experience you, I guess, you know, like who you are uh, to see that you're a real human being. And video is much more important about communicating who you are as an individual and less about the actual hard knowledge. So it's more important. It's almost in many respects, the bloopers and just more of the fun, more interesting human aspects of the video are more important than the hard uh, knowledge. So um, I'll, I'll just give you guys an example. My wife is a real estate investor. Uh, she invests in real estate part time. And uh, if you were to go to uh, it's Katie and Frank com K A T Y and Frank, it's her website. We market ourselves as a local couple that'll buy your house, you know, as a real estate investor. And uh, there's a video on there because that market is really, um, you know, you don't really know. It's kind of like this vulture, -y, you know, real estate investor underworld, right? At least that's what I kind of feel as. The video completely positions her as someone totally different. Completely. And watch, you'll find out, and you'll notice the bloopers are edited at the end of the video are actually longer than the video itself. So the very first video I would recommend anyone shoots is just a straight direct offer commercial. A lot of times we jump to, 
oh, let's start making these very interesting videos on these educational updates or whatever they may be. And those are fine for long-term nurturing, but sometimes it's good just to have a video that explains, here's what I do, here's the problem I solve, here's what I do it for, here's how I'm available to help you. A lot of, you know, one of the objections our clients get a lot is, it's not an objection, it's just that, oh, I never really put two and two together that you could actually sell my home. I get all these educational videos from you. I get all these helpful things, but they never actually link to the fact that you could, you're there to actually help them buy or sell a property. <laughs> do you follow me? Yeah. Because yeah. you're so focused, you know, so it's almost like you have to know how to ask for the business, right? You have to know how to close. So let's create a video that asks for the business first and put that online. So we have that together and then you have all the other educational videos around. And if you want, I can kind of give that script to you. Sure. You I think it'd be valuable. Yeah. Let me give everyone the script. Um, I'll just read it to you guys. And I think there'll, there'll be a replay of this, but imagine I gave you guys a script that went something like this. Are you ready? What city are you in, Brad? Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth. Okay. Do you just sell your home here in Fort Worth? Well, I'd like to sell it. My name is Brad here with my team members, you know, so and so and so and so. We'll get you several offers on your home. You can call or text me. We'll price it at the highest. We'll price it to sell at the highest price. We'll clean up and stage your home. We'll take awesome photos that stand out. We'll market it everywhere online. We'll send it out to our house buyer list. We'll answer all the phone calls. We'll handle all the showings and paperwork and we'll get you the highest possible price. And most importantly, you can relax since we'll do all the work for you. We can even front the cost for any repairs and shop around to get you the best offer. You know, Fort Worth is my home too. I went to this school and maybe to this college. We've helped X number of homeowners in Fort Worth to date. You'll get an offer fast and we know how to close quickly. So call me on my mobile phone 24 seven anytime. Tell me about your home and situation. I will listen, it's confidential and I will work with you. I look forward to our conversation. Boom. Boom. So that's just a straight up ad and all roads lead to that. <laughs> right? Yes. There you go. There and you a go. lot of times we do all the roads, but they don't really lead to anywhere and the consumer is confused because now you're running around, you know, uh, at restaurants with a video crew eating food. And they don't really quite link like, you know, oh, you're there to sell houses. You know, you gotta <laughs> have both. That's, that's what we do. That's what we do. You know, there was a joke. I was helping somebody the other day with their database and um, they only had like, it was like 800 people and they only had like 80 addresses. I'm like, it kind of helps to sell their home if you like know where they live. <laughs> There's some yeah. of these things we make so, so, so complicated, man. We've got to know that basic information. And when you're making a video, we want them to call us. It's a lead generation source. Yeah. Call us. So There's got to be a call with... action. I would start with just a straight up video. And what's nice about that video, it'll last forever, really. You never really have to change that video. Um, and that that's what goes on your website. That's what you run for your Facebook ads. That's what you run for all your advertising to um, convert an audience into a lead. Got it? Yep. Now, people probably need to get to know you, you need to nurture your past clients and sphere. You just can't keep sending them the commercial all the time that's where more of your nurture content comes into. You know, we recommend it viral. A part of our build process is uh, to make your why hire me video. That's what we call it. We call it your why hire me video one time and then your educational videos every month going forward are your nurture videos. Awesome. Let's talk about those educational videos. You know, at the mm -hmm. beginning of this webinar, I said, we got to make market stats sexy. Um, yeah. How, what are some of the videos that people are shooting right now that you see yeah. that consumer engaging with the most. I know market stats is a great one, but how does someone, that's a, a big objection that I hear as a coach is I want to do video. I get maybe the first video, but what am I going to do, you know, for the rest of the year? I'd like yeah. to, you, you work with tons of agents yeah. with video specifically. Tell yeah. me what they're doing. Yeah. So first off, nobody wants to hear about a market update. That's the wrong copywriting the wrong language. You want to change that language to what's happening with Fort Worth home prices. That's the headline. Yeah. So if you still did a market update, but you need to frame all the content as in, hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you what's going on with home prices, you know, this January in the area. Are they going up? Are they going down? We head to a recession. I don't know. Click here to find out. <laughs> Something like that. Right. So always frame the headline of any market update as what's happening to home prices. And I got to tell you, that's a popular topic. That's what people want to know. Where are home prices heading? What are the trends? Are they going up? Are they going down? It appeals to buyers, it appeals to sellers. It's good stuff. 
but just make sure you always use that as the headline. Now, the second type of video that uh, resonates really well are tours of properties or subdivisions or neighborhoods or high rise condominiums. And people are just kind of intrinsically interested of like, kind of like, ooh, I like to go inside and see that. It's like when you hold an open house and you have all the, no the no nosy neighbors show up, mm -hmm. right? Which are good star leads, by the way, but you know what I mean? So we have a, there's a, he's not a client of ours anymore. He, um, he, he does it in-house, he had his own video person, but if you have the chance to check out an individual, Ken Pozak, out of um, Orlando, uh, he caters to international buyers. So he creates uh, little walkthrough videos of all these cool um, condominium buildings. And when people are Googling, you know, hey, I wanna buy a property here, they're trying to kind of get a feel of the area. You know, they got all the stats from Zillow. Yeah. That's a commodity. But they're trying to get a feel of like, you know, take, you know, be my buyer's agent, take me through the area. Follow me. So videos that are like kind of your, um, let me be your virtual buyer's agent. Let me take you on a tour, you know, get in the car with me through this video, if you will, and show them something is really helpful. So Ken actually gets very high end buyer leads through his videos of people watching them and then people messaging him saying, yeah, I want to put an offer and I want to talk about this to international buyers. So I would say what home, what's going on with home prices, and then maybe pick some neighborhoods. Depends upon what part of the country you live in. You know, pick some neighborhoods, pick some areas, pick some developments, pick some high rises, whatever, and try to do a video tour. Now, you don't have to hire a video crew. Let me give you a shortcut how to do these, where it doesn't cost you a fortune to do it. Got it? Here's what you do. You sit down and you record the video right on your webcam, and you take people through kind of a tour by talking to them. So you would record what's called the A roll. That's a video term for, you know, just the talking head of talking about the property or the neighborhood, just run your webcam. Then you either hire a video person or you, or you yourself go out and get pictures of everything. Got it. And then the editor edits it together. And that lowers the cost. So by you just recording the audio and the video like this on your webcam, and then someone else go gets a whole bunch of pictures like to visually demonstrate what you're communicating in your talking head uh, layer of, of yeah. video, you can create a nice video that way. It drives down cost as opposed to like having to physically go out and shoot a video on site, which is intimidating for a lot of people and time consuming and relatively expensive. So that's the second version is like property tours. The third one, I'll give you one more that's very popular. I want to share this is just making videos, but what people are searching for. <laughs> that would be good. Okay. So hear me out. So if, if you were, if you're watching this, go to YouTube right now, pull up YouTube and type in uh, sell my home. What you're going to get are Google auto complete suggestions. Okay. So you can type in uh, getting a mortgage, sell my home, buying a home. Type in something like that. And you know how like when you type on Google, it pops up like additional suggestions of like other searches? Well, that's what people are searching for. Make videos on those topics. And boom, now you're creating content for, de you're creating supply for existing demand of your material. So look there, I'll, let, me, let me do a little, I'll do, we'll do a screen share. Okay, yeah. let's do that real quick. Let's do a screen share real quick. So I'm just gonna pull up YouTube, give me a second. This is why I have guys like Frank come in on our webinars because, man, he brings so much to the table because he works with video and agents all the yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, this is what I do for right, a living man. all day. So I'm on so I'm on a uh, protected browser, so it's not going to pull up any of my past search recommendations. It's be very uh, agnostic. Let's just type in sell my home. Okay. So here's what people want to know. Sell my home to pay off debt. Can I sell my home as is? How to sell my home without a realtor? Should I sell my – there we go. Should I sell my home to pay off debt? I don't know what the answer is, but that's what people are searching for. Yep. Right. Let's type in, uh, get a home loan. How do I get a home loan with bad credit? How do I get a home loan without proof of income? You know, people are on YouTube looking for these things. My offer on home is accepted. Now what? How to sell your home in Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> mm -hmm. How to sell, you know, so these are just little suggestions. Yeah. 
and you just start typing in different things. Um, you know, um, let's see here. Uh, how about home loan? How to get qualified for a home loan? Yeah. First time buyers. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. This is awesome. Yeah. So you just want to use, you just like, this is, it's literally telling you what people are searching for. So yeah. you just got to kind of type in some words. I know it's a little overwhelming, but like a uh, home inspection, this would be yeah. a good one. Home inspection nightmares would be really Nightmares fun. would be fun. Mm -hmm. Dude, you can like, uh, a buddy of mine made a video the other day on, um, he's a, he's a home investor like him. He had squatters in his house and made a video like how trash it was at the squatters and getting them evicted and stuff. That was an interesting yeah. video. I even watched the whole thing. Um, but that would yeah, be- Yeah, so these are these are really good, um, a good way to jog your memory. It's like, okay, I could do market updates. I could try to go make some video featuring a neighborhood or a property to be someone's like virtual buyer's agent. Or let me go on YouTube and use autocomplete to figure out just what people are searching for. And that could jog some memory. Um, when it comes to structuring the title of your video, I really make, recommend you go Q&A. So, for example, when you want to actually shoot your video, you'd shoot your video in terms of, in this video, I want to answer the question X, and then you answer the question. When you frame your video in Q&A style, it just makes it so much more easier to create. Uh, let me just give you an example. This is one that, these are videos that I do, but this is the uh, format of how I recommend everyone shoots their videos. Okay. Let me show you, let me show you really quick and you should be able to hear the sound, okay? So just watch how I start this off. So this is shot right here in my spare bedroom where I'm doing this webinar. The key is authenticity. This can be shot on your webcam, just like I'm showing you here. Or if you wanna step it up, you could get something like this. See this? This is a little camera that when it flips up, I can see myself. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So I, I was standing right here like this when I shot this. This is how this was shot. All right, so let's press play. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, what's the number one best Facebook ad for seller lead generation that's not a scam? All right, so Facebook ads for seller lead generation. So all I'm doing is just talking to you. I know this is a mighty oh. claim. Right. What's the number one best ad for seller lead? And that's all it needs to be. And if you wanna make it a little more interesting, you would stitch in what's called B-roll or cut to some photos or cut to some shots. That just takes time. It's really up to you how much creative work you wanna put into it. Yeah, but the whole goal is people just to get to see you. Absolutely, absolutely cool, man. I love that. Um, wow, Frank, I'm I'm blown away actually. Some of these ideas have run through my head. I'm like, man, I got to get out there and, and talk to some people about this because I get that all the time. Like, what should I shoot a video on? I think you just by googling that the, those taglines, man, you could come up with content for two years. I mean, you can make a yeah. lot of things. Like, uh, well, let me give you nightmares, me, man. You can make a. Uh, let me give you one more. Let me give yeah. you one more thing. Go for it, man. So, so let's say you know you're brain dead and you can't think of anything to type in. <laughs> you're having a bad day. All mm -hmm. right. Um, let's go to like um, HGTV or something like that. And you can do this with any site. Okay. So, I'll go to HGTV. Just below or anything else, and I'll click videos, and I'll click sort by most popular, and this will give you the most literally the most popular video on HGTV is how to fold your clothes to save space. <laughs> Got oh, it? Yeah. Uh, let's say you're, you're a real estate coach, Brad, right? You want to make videos for real estate coaching? Yeah. Um, I just have, it's off the top of my head. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna type in Tom, who's someone else in the space does a good, a good job here. This could be anyone. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at the most popular videos. And you'll see these are the most popular topics that resonate with real estate professionals. Yeah. Because there's lot there's lots of views there. See that? Mm -hmm. This is what people want to see. I could type in Zillow and I could go over here to Zillow and I can find out, okay, what are the most popular topics that resonate? The wackiest tiny home you've ever seen. These are all interesting ideas that people might be of interest in. I love it. I love it. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. I jump over to HGTV, a DIY network, find out what people are interested in. A real estate agent can make a video on how to fold your clothes. I can be funny. I can be engaging. Uh, best closet spaces. You could you could be viewing a lot of different closets, what have you. Now, here's that Ken Pozak guy I was talking yeah. about. I'm Ken Pozak. Um, let's see here. He does a really nice job.
Yeah, do you see how he has like the four seasons private residences, thirty eight thousand views? Wow. So he'll take you through, you know, ten things you don't know about Celebration Florida. He'll take you through like actual properties. Be like your virtual buyers when you look at that. Of all the people that are interested in the four seasons of private residence. Hey, this is Ken Posick with the Posick Real Estate Group here in Orlando, Florida. And today yeah. I've been afforded the opportunity to go inside Disney's Golden Oak neighborhood, which is the gated private residences here right inside the Disney property. If you've never had an opportunity to come inside these gates before, it's truly something special. So come on, let's take a look. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Man. So one of the reasons this works well is video works best when you demonstrate so if you can ever try to figure out a way, how can I demonstrate something all the better? So obviously taking someone through a property and showing it to them as their virtual buyer's agent is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Good stuff, man. I go, man, I hope you guys are finding value from this. I'm finding a lot of value from it. Um, I, and so let's talk about value proposition just for a second. Um, a lot of times is when you think about videos or inter integrating or interacting with your database, Sometimes the reason they don't interact with you is you don't have a value proposition. You don't know why they should be engaged with you versus all the other realtors out there. Value yeah. proposition is so important. So um, a lot of people that start building a database and have an email list and social following, and they don't have everybody's number, okay? Yeah. We've got to use the value proposition to get them to do this. Now, a lot of our coaching clients on here already know this, but one thing I ask our coaching clients all the time is how to get a hundred people to call you in a day. If you've ever been prospecting at all, you've been locked in those rooms where we're all making calls. I've done it. Everybody's done it. Where hey, we got to make a hundred calls today, guys. Boom, 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 boom. And we do it. Yeah. It's so effective. How do you get a hundred people to call you in a day? Okay, oh, that way you I've can done it. phone numbers and everything. Now, I know the answer, but I got to drop my line, man. I'm a salesman. So, hey, if you want to know the answer, you got to click the comments below, get that free 30-minute coaching call, and I will tell you in 30 minutes how you can get 100 people to call you in a day, and it absolutely will cost you hardly anything, and it requires video, it requires a database, and absolutely, I will show you how to do that. It's just one of the things that we do here at ICC, give you free stuff, it's be totally free. Click that comment below, sign up, do yourself a favor. Okay, awesome. Um, um, the value proposition is something that's totally important. I want to ask real quick though, Frank, what do you see about, um, as far as bad videos, where do you see people just flop? Yeah, okay, so the first thing is uh, reading a script. So it's so key that you are just authentic in your video. So we've been talking now for about 30 minutes. If I were to ask somebody, hey, Brad, go shoot a 30 minute video. Maybe not you, but 99% of the population have a heart attack. It's like, <laughs> what do you mean? Sit down and record a 30 minute video? On what, right? Well, we kind of have like a loose idea what we're gonna talk about today, but video is so much more easier. We're just having a conversation with someone and the conversation is recorded. So here's, here's the wrong thing to do. You print out some script and you, I don't know, you hold it next to the camera. Hi, this is Frank. I'm so excited for you to watch this video today. Today we are going to talk about this, that, and the other thing. Please call me if you want to sell your house. It's not really doing it, is it? <laughs> not doing it for me, we man. We get those. We get those. Oh, no. So that's okay. That's where you most start when you're freaking out. Now, to make that easier, what you do is you get on a webinar like this or a video conference, Skype, Zoom, whatever, FaceTime, I don't care, and just press the record button. Got it? And we just start having a conversation. We start doing an interview. And then what we'll do is we edit ourselves out and then it's just you. And now you have a very authentic video where it's just you being yourself. That's the most important by far. Certainly you can have a script. Certainly you can have an outline. You wrote a little bit of an outline for today. You can have your talking points. The point is I'm not against having a plan. Okay. Plan's good. But trying to read the plan <laughs> while you're on cameras, line by line, not good. Got it? Yeah. So that's the number one mistake. Second mistake, overproduction. 
So I'm sh right now the webcam I'm using is a Logitech C920. You can go to Amazon and pick up the Logitech C920 webcam. It's probably about $60. I look great. I have no complaints. Um, I'm using a headset here. Uh, you could just as easily wear a little lav mic if you want to have good, good audio. Let me give you an example. This is the audio on when I'm mic'd up. Let me show you the audio. This is the audio when you don't have a microphone. Do you hear that? No. Huge difference. Huge difference. This is the audio when it comes through the webcam, probably picking up my fan and everything behind me. And then when you switch to some type of lav mic, whether it's a lav or a headset, you're going to sound like uh, this. Does that sound a little better? A lot better. Yeah. So you probably want to be mic'd up. You want to have a nice webcam. And, so, and then the other thing too is you want to have good light and I'm not like dark. And the reason I look, you know, halfway decent is I do have a window in front of me, but I also have, do you see this giant ring light? Yeah. Yeah. I have this giant light in front of me in addition to my window that makes sure I'm very well illuminated. So not, so I'm having a very personal conversation. Uh, I'm right on my webcam. I'm mic'd up and this whole setup, maybe with light, you know, 200 bucks. It's all you need. And then when you get crazy, you know, when you want to go out and about, you can get something like this. This is a little more expensive, but this is the microphone and I can turn this on and you can yep. see yourself. Yep. Hey, there oh, you are. This stuff is relatively inexpensive. Yeah. I mean. So what happens is you, 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 what happens is we, um, we fall in love with the opiate of production yeah. of our ego getting involved and we overproduce and then we totally drop the ball on like coming across as authentic and doing it consistently and just getting the marketing done. So that's all you need. This is all I'm you need. With you. Totally all with you. You, you know, and it, a lot of times I get people say, well, I don't want to, I don't look good on video. I don't, I got, they, they hear that objection a lot. I think it's just because, it's like any other thing. You got to get out there and you just got to do it, you know? You do. And it's, you know, it's, uh, I tell everyone they started viral, you've enrolled in a personal development program. So I say, look, when you first started selling real estate, you're probably scared to death of just talking to another human being that you didn't know. Yeah. Right? So you had to get good, probably belly to belly, face to face advertising, like, or face to face networking in the real world. And what's nice about meeting someone face to face, like, in the real world is you get a full feedback where you get verbal and nonverbal feedback to communicate. Then you start realizing, well, that's not really that efficient. So let's start doing it on the phone. Right. But you don't get as much feedback. And then you start realizing, well, you know, three quarters of my day, I'm talking to voicemails and always answering the phone. I need to do something else. Well, let's start doing it maybe through, um, you know, a seminar or video that the point is what I'm getting at is, you have to improve your, what, I, what we're asking really people to do here, uh, Brad, is to improve their communication skills. To get good from communicating one-to-one, -one, where now they can communicate one-to-many. I love and when it. When you communicate one-to-many, the challenge with that is you have less feedback. Yep. In, in the moment. I love it, I love it. You know, um, one of the things that I did with a client um, last year and th this dude's sold about 1500 homes he wanted to get into video uh number one he didn't have time he's like i don't have time to get into video you know he does do a big business and one of the things that i asked him i said do you know who progressive insurance is right do you see the ceo of progressive insurance out there making videos nope but you do see a girl named Flo, and everybody knows who Flo is. If you've ever watched TV, I'm a big TV watcher. If you have not seen TV, I'm no, you gotta know who Flo is from Progressive. I told him to leverage somebody to go out and make these videos for him. Be the spokesperson and everything. You can totally do that too. There's just a little tip I wanted to give you that, that, that really works really well. You don't have to do everything yourself. That's one of the things we teach here at Eisenhower Coaching is, is we want to leverage things out leverage task out for lifestyle and for income. Um, you know, we're cutting short on time here real quick. Uh, Frank, uh, I have one more question for you and then we're gonna take some questions from y'all. Um, what is it that you actually do, dude? And can you yeah. tell them how to get in touch with you, how you can help them? Yeah. So viral marketing, we do all the work to help you get more business from your database. So 
Uh, what we're going to do is you come sign up with us. We're a professional service firm. We have the video editors, the writers, the account managers, you know, 60 employees out there in our office. And uh, we're essentially going to export all your databases, clean them up, round them up, get that reconnect email out. Uh, we're going to build you this wonderful looking video blog that positioned you as an expert. Um, let me give you an example of one. This is a pretty cool one. I'm really proud of this one. This is Brett. He's in Silicon Valley. Nobody answers the phone. <laughs> so when you try to prospect there, nobody answers. And like nobody opts on your website to give up their phone number. Like it's an extremely educated market. Like yeah. no one's putting their phone number to as their password to save their searches, which yeah. is how a lot of people capture phone numbers. So you really need a way to stand out. The guy does like 5 million GCI a year and uh, this is how he does it. We built and run this whole thing for him. And it really positions him as someone very unique, as someone that can help him. And we, we basically, he's like the author and the, the, the publisher of the Silicon Valley Real Estate Journal. Isn't that cool? Brought to you by his team. So we basically build and help you run something like this. And um, if you go to our website, you can go check out how it works. We charge two grand to build it and 550 a month. It includes all these things, the Why Hire Me video, the planning of the topics, the, we help you publish educational videos to your list. We interview you on a webcam to create your videos. We update it to social media, it's all there. So if you're looking for the full complete package to get people in your database to call you to sell or buy a house, we got it. We've been doing it for 10 years. Check it out. 30 day money back guarantee. Just click request a strategy call and we'll talk to you. You'll talk to my business partner, John, actually. You started the firm with me. Very That's cool, man. Do. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So questions and answers section. I love this time, man. We got so many people on this webinar. Uh, ask me some questions. We got Frank here live. Type them in. We'll answer them how they come. While you're waiting for that, because there's probably a delay. Yeah. Uh, one of the things people also want to do is a couple times a year, send out a direct offer to the database. There's a whole bunch in our blog. Um, like, for example, if you want to find out who's interested, like, you know, if you, one of the easiest things you can do is take all of your archive buyer leads, right, from your online lead generation services. If you just sent them the magical, I believe it's the magical nine word email, uh, the subject line is a quick question. And the email just says, you know, are you still interested in buying or selling a home in Fort Worth? And just sent out to everybody, you get immediate replies. Like I could take anyone's list, any of their archives, send out that little magical one sentence and you'll get replies of potential business. No brainer, right? Um, one of the things we've been doing lately is we take all of your contacts and we upload them to, to uh, SurveyMonkey. <laughs> yeah. And we send, out, we send out a survey. It says survey. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're trying to forecast demand here in Fort Worth of what's people buying or selling homes. And it's just a one question survey. Uh, do you plan on buying or selling real estate in 2020? Yes or no? And then people in your database click yes or no and you get the yeses. Very cool. So, I love it. Those are all little things you can do in, in addition to nurturing your list with helpful videos to spike response, let alone you can actually see who's clicking the links in these videos and you can call those people and the conversion rates are pretty good. If you actually just called the people that are clicking your clicking the links and watching your videos to ask if they want to yeah. buy or sell a home, here's the results you can expect. So here are the numbers. So we have a little upgrade where we do that for you. Um, here's the attempts. Here's the conversations, here's the nurtures, and here's how many people wanted to buy or sell a home. Uh, the contact rate and the lead to contact rate's really high. You know, if you send out a video on, you know, the three things you must know before you sell your home this spring, and you get a list of 30, 40, 50 people that click it, and you talk to them, you probably have a good conversion rate to a deal, right? Uh, here's the numbers for that so far. Yep like it okay let's answer this question how frequently should i be posting videos on social media here's the deal with that let me give you two answers for my wife we just have one video running all the time that's her direct offer video it never changes so you can just create one video and you could put a little bit of advertising into it where it just shows up all the time and chances are a good frequency for a good Facebook video is about once a week. So if you have an audience on Facebook you're running ads to, and it's popping up about once a week as an ad, that's fine. We have a four time frequency per month. So the reality is you don't need to create all these crazy videos. Really what you need for my first answer is just one really good one 
probably one really good direct offer. Uh, we have one direct offer and we get a couple people every day messaging us saying they want to sell their house. That's from one video optimized for Facebook messages where it says, you want to sell your home, message us. They message us. And my wife is just sitting on Facebook Messenger talking to people all day long, messaging us that want to sell their home from one video. Got it? One good direct offer video. Now I'll give you a second follow up to that. You obviously need some content to stay in touch with your list and your nurtures. Two videos a month. That's it. No more. One video on the first, one video on the 15th. Post it. And then probably a little bit of money, 10 to $20 is really all you need to make sure that when that video goes on social media, your audiences on Facebook actually see it and you put a little advertising into it. So I think really the answer is you may think you have to be posting like every single day and all the time and creating all this content. No, it's completely exhausting. What you need is one really good direct offer video, like we talked about at the beginning of the interview and then two nurture videos a month. I like it. I like it. Ooh, there's so many questions. I just want to pick out one more real good one. I want to be respectful of everybody's time here. Uh, how do I start with video marketing? Um, how do I start with video marketing is, well, I'll tell you what, um, click the comment below, get a 30 minute free call with me. I'll tell you how to do it or call Frank. Uh, that would be two really good places to start. Yeah. Uh, if you want something else in that, just get your iPhone, create a video, Post it on social media, and that way, at least uh, you've done something. Now you've uh, ripped the Band-Aid off. Now you're ready to go. Okay, guys, so um, Frank, again, thank you for being on the webinar today. Uh, I learned a lot. I mean, if you guys watching this uh, learned a lot too, uh, give us a like if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. Um, it, it, again, sign up for that free 30 minute coaching call. If you want to talk about this further, Frank services, I mean, I, they're great. If you looked at it and said, man, I don't have the money, call me. I'll tell you how to get a listing today, get it sold, take that money, invest it with Frank, and then we'll get a lot more listings and make a lot more money together. So again, Frank, thank you for being with us today. Again, I'm Brad Baldwin with Eisenhower Coaching Consulting. Live fierce. Thank you.